Hey there, and welcome to Play Noggin. I'm Julian, your brain's player too. Usually on this channel, we talk about faster paced games that don't give you much time to stop and think about the deeper meaning behind them because you're drenched in sweat trying to get past a tough boss fight. But there is a genre of games that are a bit more relaxed, yet I think they still have a wealth to teach us. I'm talking about farming games. You heard me. There are plenty of farming games out there, but I decided to play Harvest Moon Animal Parade because it's friggin' adorable and a good chance to show off a couple key aspects of farming. Have you ever considered just how important farming is? I don't just mean in terms of putting food on your table on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean for the advancement of the entire human species. Though it seems so simple and obvious today, farming was a massive step forward for our ancient ancestors. It all began about 10,000 years ago. Before then, we got our food from hunting it or gathering it from wherever it grew in the wild. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. No, I'm sorry, old habit. Everything changed when Neolithic Og looked at Neolithic Grog and asked, why don't we just grow this food ourselves? Well, it probably wasn't one crystallized event like that, but you get the point. The Neolithic Revolution was on. It started in Mesopotamia, where the modern-day countries of Iran, Iraq, Turkey, and Syria are. Humans started planting wild wheat and barley seeds by riverbanks that they could later come back and gather. Within a couple thousand years, humans all over the world picked up on the same idea. Once we got the hang of growing and harvesting food we had planted, we started settling down. Neolithic villages started popping up, with homes equipped with grinding stones to process the grains. Of course, this is when we also started developing tools to make planting and harvesting crops easier. We also started planting crops we couldn't eat, but that made other useful products, like cotton for clothing. And it's about the same time we looked at all these animals we were hunting and asked, well, why don't we just keep them in one place too? So we did to animals what we did to plants. We domesticated them. Domestication is when humans take an organism like a plant or an animal, and over generations of selective breeding, we give them traits we find desirable. For a plant, this usually means making them hardier and producing a bigger yield. For animals, this means making them more used to humans, or making them produce more food, like laying more eggs, producing more milk, or just making them bigger so they have more meat inside them. We started domesticating dogs from grey wolves in about 12,000 BCE, which might explain why they're our best and oldest friends. Then around 9,000 BCE, Middle Easterners are believed to have developed the first herds of domesticated sheep, as evidenced by an abundance of baby sheep bones found in the ruins of certain settlements. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to say baby sheep bones, it bummed me out too. Next came goats, and together with sheep, they were the major domesticated critters we kept around. Sometime not too long after, we began making room in our lives for cows and pigs. Our relationships with animals have been a cornerstone on which we've built our civilization. We take care of them, they take care of us. For example, cows produce way more milk than their calves need, which meant we had a nigh unlimited source of cow milk. Domesticating animals also helped further our production of crops. For example, oxen are super strong, so they can pull plows, meaning we could plant more seeds faster. And as an added bonus, we can use their manure to fertilize crops. It's a pretty great situation, and all they ask in return is that we treat them humanely and provide for their basic needs. In Harvest Moon, your animals respond to the way you treat them. Brushing your cow and talking to it actually helps it produce more milk. This isn't just some touchy-feely game developer going all Greenpeace or PETA on us. Cows actually do seem to produce more milk when they're happier. Of course, happiness is difficult to quantify in a cow. They don't exactly emote. But studies have found that brushing cows increases blood flow, which helps in milk production. Nobody filled early humans in on the science behind this. They just saw that treating their animals with kindness seemed to make everyone's lives much better. And that makes sense, because part of what allowed us to develop into a society was empathy, or understanding understanding the needs, wants, and feelings of others. Could it be that our ability to empathize with each other allowed us to empathize with the animals we kept and cared for? And could that empathy have had a side effect, which was that our animals lived longer, healthier lives and provided us with more food and clothing? Some scientists believe that yes, we are predisposed to love and care for animals because doing so has helped us succeed. The benefits they brought to us gave us an edge over competing species, which allowed us to thrive where others couldn't. We were able to use not only our own abilities, but those of the animals we domesticated as well. It's no stretch to say that you owe your very existence to the development of farming. 
Planting our own crops we could rely on, then developing them into robust and high yield plants, meant we suddenly had a lot more food to go around. We used that food to feed our newly domesticated animals and in turn used them to produce even more food. And more food meant we could support much bigger populations. Settling down meant the weakest among a village didn't need to starve to death or be the first picked off by a roving pack of hyenas. Plus, since more food could be produced by fewer people, people could pursue other activities besides not starving, like making video games. You know, eventually. 10,000 years ago, there were 5 million humans on Earth. Today, there are over 7 billion. And we have video games. You have farming to thank for that. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're into what we do here and share this video with your friends and fellow farmers. Got an idea for a topic to cover? Leave us a comment below and check out some of our other videos here. And don't forget to keep on playing.